about the CD and what's happening with the band. It's local heavy metal phenom Shack Nasty whenever you guys are ready. Shack Nasty, burn the fire brick. You got more? I know you've got more. (laughs) (laughs) Not just the one. (laughs) Oh, we're only contacted for one. You know what's wonderful is is feeling the music, hearing it in the head, and then feeling the desk go boom, boom, boom. That's like wow, that's heavy metal. That's great. So Shack Nasty live in the studio, KFUG Community Radio. We're gonna hear some more from him right now. That's our love song. Song's called Anywhere. Jump outside Well, I'm a giant wind Making me 
That's a lot of fun. So I, I like it much better when JD mixes you guys and not me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fantastic. I wanna. I, you guys want to talk now? You want to play another one before we do that? Uh, what do you want to know? <laughs> uh, the, introduce the band. Talk about this CD. Talk about the uh, the the party coming up at Inoteca. Get people out there and uh, get people buying your stuff. All right. Well, on the rhythm guitarist, Colt. Uh, Sean Tames on lead guitar. Yeah. Got. Raimondo Martello. <laughs> Raimondo Martello. Oh, Raimondo. 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 Raimond
So I did all the production engineering. I had a lot of help from a lot of outside um, mm -hmm. friends to help mix it, get it down. So I think it sounds pretty, pretty tight. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our first official release on this label. So anyways, we're pretty excited. We, we worked hard. It, it, it was a long time, two years in this process. But again, you know, we're all part-time musicians. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Full-time exactly. family people. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. And um, so you can go to redwoodrecords.net or you can go to shackdasty.net mm -hmm. and you can find the downloads there. And if you go to uh, Redwood Records, you can get a limited edition actual hard CD, which, you know, you don't find very much anymore. So wait, so now the actual CD in the case, that's a limited edition deal? Is that yeah, what's going on? Yeah, that's limited. <laughs> it's exactly. Because after, when we run out of these, and then you're going to have to just do the old digital download. The old like digital, else. wow. How yeah. many of these do you have? Uh, we had we ordered a couple hundred. We're down to about 130 now. Okay. So, yeah, How yeah. much are they? Uh, we're selling for five bucks a piece. Are you kidding me? Yeah. No, no. I'm not kidding you. I will. I want one. Well, that's your copy right there. We All right. Yeah. So. And you got you guys got to sign it and do the yeah, whole no, rock and yeah, roll thing. Yeah, we started too. I think somebody put their big thumbprint on my name, but that's okay. <laughs> I won't mention any names, Altman. <laughs> we lost the Ondo part of Raymondo. Ah, oh, darn. Wow, that's super exciting. You guys sound fantastic. The stabilizer okay. now. Previous recordings are those available as well for people to uh, sort of catch up on the. Yeah, one of them is on iTunes. Uh -huh. That's uh, from Shack Nasty Jim. Hindsight. Uh, a couple of those guys aren't in the band anymore, and the the album we did before that was kind of self-produced, and that one's not really available yeah. out there. But yeah. uh, you know, they want to check out the old stuff on Shack Nasty Jim on iTunes. They can. Uh, we're really excited, more excited about the new stuff because yeah. we're writing the best show we have yet. That's something that gets me about seeing you guys live. I'm so used to going to, you know, see heavy metal bands, and, you know, they're cranking out uh, covers and stuff. I don't think I've ever heard you guys play a cover. We don't. No. Yeah, yeah, it's all original material, right? We've talked about it. We've done it, you know, at rehearsal sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, Alice in Chains or whatever, but we don't want to get stuck in that. You know, you start playing covers, and every time you go out to play live, people want to play some scanner, and next thing you know, you're. Yeah, you're yeah, you're a jukebox. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's Crescent cool. Crescent City on the map uh, as having an original rock band. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, we that's appreciate cool. your guys' support. Oh, oh man, I appreciate a band plays all their own material and does all this stuff. That's fantastic. And I'm always intrigued by the, the fact that you can kind of do this uh, low-pro rock and roll lifestyle nowadays with digital stuff and the home recording and things like right. that and, and make a living and make money and do stuff with it. So so it's good to see you guys like coming together and, and, and best of luck to you and play more. So you want to play more now? Yeah, I thought I should add though yeah. on the um, website address. He forgot to say www. Oh yeah, don't forget that. <laughs> right. it's on the net. <laughs> on the interwebs. The, uh, yeah, the okay. www. That's yeah, the uh, yeah. the limited yeah. edition, yeah. right? That's, a, that's well, we <laughs> it's the classic. On Facebook, so. Oh yeah, we do. Have Shaq Nasty on Facebook. That's how I've been communicating. Twitter. Twitter. Oh, yeah, Twitter too. And See, and while you guys have been doing this, I've been trying to teach myself Instagram with pictures of you guys. <laughs> and we're gonna soon be on all the, the major streaming sites: Spotify, Pandora. Mm -hmm. All okay. those major ones. Those, so we'll, you know, we'll make the announcement on the website and Facebook page when we actually hit the streams. Right on. Yeah, fantastic. Let us know too. We'll pass Absolutely. the word along. All right. So hey, let's uh, let's get uh, let's get some more from Shack Nasty here. Sounding great live in the KFUG studio, KFUG Community oh, yeah. Radio. Song's called Count on Me.
Hold my arms over the open flame Skin burns where there is no pain My eyes wide outside the lands that rock Made on the hurricanes from the bottom The moon is down and the vulture flies The ocean roars and you know why If I could hold it all, I would hold it in Jack Nasty live on KFUG Community Radio. And I, I've been doing this after every set. So you, you guys want to keep playing? <laughs> <laughs> Frank cut out early. We got an hour to fill. So, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. <laughs> so, Jack Nasty live, if you're making plans for that, is the, uh, the 18th, correct? Right here. 18th of this month down. Ah, here's a little handy flyer. Oh. Uh, CD release party, that's right. Uh, oh, you're going to have a special guest. Tell us about this. Who's this uh, Ultra... What is this? Ultra Mafic. Like Ultra Mafic. What? You kind of know about that. Yeah, Ultra Mafic. Uh, they're a band from Arcata. Uh, they're a three-piece instrumental, and uh, they're, they're pretty good. They, I, I dig this kind of stuff. They're pretty good. Oh, right on. They, uh, it's kind of like, kind of like a doom metal. Um... Yeah, it's like a doom metal, what they call it, I guess, so. Yeah, okay, the really hard, like, gum, yeah. gum, gum, gum. Yeah, gum, hard gum, stuff. So it's kind of a lot, a lot of Sabbath-y type of hard stuff, oh, and sweet. it's good stuff, though. Yeah, see, we have bands like that on KFUG, too. They usually come through at about 2 in the morning. <laughs> it's the, it's yeah. the truth. We've had, like, three bands in here, and I was it's walking really the street out there. Portland. What's that? popular in Portland. It is popular, yeah. yeah. And they, can they pass through on uh, on uh, on their way up and down the coast. So uh, how many more you guys feel like playing tonight, this free show like this? Yes. <laughs> We're here, Phil, you're done. <laughs> Where we at? This next one's called the World War IV. Oh, right on. So this is what the, oh, uh, yeah, this is off of uh, off of Destabilizer. I've been playing this one. It is Shaq Nasty live on KFUG. Oh, oh, it's the tuning is what's going on. I'm not used because you don't hear it anymore. You don't hear the ding, 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 ding. It's all like... There it is. Thank you. of thunder. 
I'm the one who drowns the human beings. I am the titan dyers inside the cage of fiends. And in the torture chamber, I'm the one who kills the human beings. War. World War. World War for. I am the fearful mortar from the cannon's muzzle. I am the aching hunger. I'm the one enslaves the human. I am the silent poison inside the food of kings. And when the darkness comes, I'm the one who kills a human being. Right on, Shag Nasty, World War IV. That's actually one of my favorites. I've been playing that a lot on KFUG. I think I remember that from a uh, from an Inditeka show. Not an Inditeka, a Gordy Bros show. The uh, October, excuse me, November 18th CD release party live at Inditeka at Shag Nasty with spe- special guest Ultra Mafic. Uh, and uh, let's see, Saturday that is 7 to 10 p.m. And, uh, and there'll be uh, whatever limited uh, CD supplies are left. It's all in the show. All in, thank you for stipulating. Yeah. That's right, because it is all ages show. So it's no cover got the, charge. So okay, now, now how much is a digital download? I'm still trying to get all this straight in my head. Well, if you want to, if you want to download the album, yeah, it's just like standard. You're like iTunes, nine ninety nine for an album, ninety nine cents per track. So this is cheaper. So it, well, <laughs> right, yes, this, <laughs> this physical CD well, is cheaper. That's the part I'm it's having. It's yeah. offer. Yeah, but you got to spend a hundred bucks on a CD player nowadays. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, good point. That's right. Yeah, nobody, know. nobody has CD players anymore. And they can't put these in your phone. That's no, not you what can't. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's a process. But anyways, um. It's typical nine ninety nine, ninety nine cents a track, eleven tracks. You get a bargain if you buy the whole, download the whole thing. Yeah, exactly, fantastic. Yeah. So, um, and, and those streaming sites, um, it's a CD Baby. Mm-hmm. But the easiest way to find it, just go to shacknasty.net. Mm-hmm. Okay. www as Paul said, <laughs> and, uh, and then or go to redwoodrecords.net. The and then you can just follow the links. <laughs> What's that? Hey, you know, there's another place too. We actually have the. Uh, 
physical copies of the CDs at the People's Records in um, Arcata on the really? square there, and okay. also at the Works in Eureka. Oh, fantastic. That's good to know. So if I you're was just... to happen to be listening to this on the internet or whatever, that www thing, <laughs> yeah. and you're down there in Humboldt, check out those places. We've got our CDs down there. Uh, people's Records, where else was it? And the Works. And the Works. It's now on 2nd Street. Works. Eureka. And Eureka. Fantastic. Now, That's cool. Eureka. That's really exciting. Now, JD, were these the pictures you took? Yes. All right. So we have the whole the whole thing. We've got uh, we've got the visual and audio here. So are you guys playing more? Or are you done? Let yeah, me know. No, I want to you know. No, you guys worked all day, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go. We're gonna do uh, one of our newer songs, Ashes. Jack Nasty live on KFUG.
From their album Destabilizer, Shag Nasty right there, and Ashes. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. I'll ask for another if you got it, but uh, you know you're welcome to walk out the door. <laughs> Anytime you want. Uh, you know, I'll tell you what, I got a funny story about a song. You guys want to do Pink Silver? I could tell a quick story. Can you do Pink Silver? Sure. Here, here, come tell. Come. Let's get you on a mic. All right. Uh-oh. It's kind of like coming full circle. All right, the guy that owns an Ateca, mm-hmm. Daryl Winkleman, was in a band called Black Rose here back in the day, badass metal band, right? Uh-huh. First concert we did back in 1997, we opened for them at the fairgrounds here in Crescent City. We were from Reading at the time. Oh, wow, okay. And we knew him through some other people, didn't really know him, but they said, yeah, you guys come on out here, juniors, you guys come out here and open for us, right? We didn't really know what we were doing. First real gig, they were really cool. They helped us set up our, our gear correctly, gave us advice on different things. They could have been jerks, you know? Yeah, they sure, were, sure. Uh, they were the band everybody was coming to see. We were just these kids that were opening for them, you know? And we thought they were really cool. We never forget that. And then uh, about almost a year later, we were supposed to open for them at HSU. And previous to that, all of our songs were really kind of alternative, kind of smashing pumpkins, you mm-hmm. know, stuff like that maybe. A little bit of heavy. And we thought, man, we got to at least write one heavy song because those guys are heavy. we got to bring it, right? So uh, we wrote this song, Pink Silver, which was our version of a... Uh, Black Rose type of song. Uh-huh. I don't know what they were thinking, but we never got to play it for them because uh, they ended up having uh, things happen. I don't, I'm not really sure what happened. I'm not sure that they played another uh, gig as Black Rose uh-huh. after that Crescent City gig in uh, June of 1997. But 
now we're coming around full circle. He owns this this club out here. He's gonna let us play there, and we were like, hey man, cool, thanks a lot, man. And so you know, I thought, man, I want to let him know because I never got to play the song. They've though. never heard this song. Probably not. Are you gonna play it live too at the uh, at the? Yeah, we'll probably play it. Yeah. Again. All right. Oh wow. All right. Sweet. We're gonna retune real quick though while one of these other guys talks. Okay. All right. Someone else talk. <laughs> <laughs> Tame is getting away without saying anything. Oh heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I met these guys uh, about, what, three and a half years ago? Yeah. And uh, I was just sitting next to Colt one day, and I'm like, hey, uh, I play, my, what do you like to do? And he's like, I play guitar. I go, oh, I play bass. And I'm like, well, maybe we should jam sometime. And it um, kind of went back and forth like that for quite a while. And finally, one time, well, one day I ended up coming to the, uh, his house, mm -hmm. and uh, we just started jamming, and it was like instant hit. And it's like, wow, these guys are cool. And then, you know, my bass style, they liked it. And, mm -hmm. They haven't thrown me out yet, so I guess I'm a permanent <laughs> fixture. And now, now, how long? How long have you been in this? About band? three years now. Already, about three wow. and a half years ago. Wow. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, well, I, I think the only reason why to keep me around is because I have the recording studio. So. That's why, yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's Redwood <laughs> Records. <laughs> and here's yeah. our bass player, Redwood Records. I mean, Raymondo. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's yeah. fantastic. Just break. <laughs> and so I got to ask, I got to ask you both playing uh, uh, Epiphone Les Pauls. Uh, yeah. I love Epiphone guitars. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, love I actually you know I had a Gibson Les Paul studio uh -huh. that I actually traded in for this. Really, really? Wow. And now the, now the studio, is that the, is that, that's not that's the bottom? That's kind of the lower end Les Paul for Gibson, the actual maybe yeah, yeah. Gibson, but it, it was a nice guitar, looked nice, and it, it, it had some good features, but there was a couple issues with it, and especially for our style of music, I traded it on this Epiphone. And you've got, what, EMGs in that thing in the whole bit? Yeah. Or? Wow, yeah, okay. 81, All right. 85. <laughs> I guess the signature model of that guy from uh, oh shoot uh, that band that band <laughs> the guy from that band, band. <laughs> they're a good band I just not the band I listen to a lot but you know I, I was like oh whatever it was a good price and good guitar I think I may have when did you have the Gibson I think one of the shows that uh, the JD had me sit in was uh, oh uh, yeah 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 uh, you had the Gibson there Story like, Bros whatever you got. yeah 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 exactly wow sweet yeah I love Epiphone I have an Epiphone Casino that I absolutely cannot put down except yeah, right now something real quick too we forgot to mention we do have a YouTube channel as well uh huh we got some videos up on there if you guys ever want to check out some of our old gigs uh, we got stuff all over on that and there's plenty of videos yeah there's plenty of videos on uh, our our shacknasty.net website as well it's got it uh, pretty much everything you can that we have is out there on that right now so YouTube we're out there Facebook we're on there too and Twitter so. hey, just start That's at the top man Google Shack Nasty yeah. So, yeah, online iterations. I've got uh, redwoodrecords.net, shacknasty.net. You're on Facebook. The CD's available, uh, uh, CD Baby iTunes, SoundCloud. Uh, just, it will be, it's available, not, it hasn't launched on iTunes yet. It will okay. be on major streaming sites, hopefully in the next day or two. Okay. iTunes within the next few weeks. Definitely go to redwoodrecords.net, mm -hmm. shacknasty.net. Mm -hmm. You can uh, get downloads there. You can order yep. hard copies from redwoodrecords.net. <laughs> And sign up for your uh, for the uh, newsletter on our website. You sign up for that, you'll get uh, inside info of what's going on. So be sure to go to the bottom of the page on there and uh, put in your just submit your web your uh, your email address. That's all you got to do in there, and uh, you get. Uh, all the updates, what's going on. And then on top of that, you. subscribe yeah. to the YouTube channel as well. Now, you guys, are you getting into the uh, having like the shirts and the stuff? You got this stuff? Do you have like any of that? Because we just we're just starting to do that here as well. Bumper stickers. Bumper, yeah, that's as far as we've got. Yeah, we'll have to trade bumper stickers and things. <laughs> all right, all right. So whenever you guys are set, this is uh, this is a very special. What was the name of this one again? It's called Pink Silver. This one's off a of hindsight. Apple, all right. Previous album.
Shack Nasty Live, KFUG Community Radio. That uh, that kick drum action was just kicking my ass, man. <laughs> I was watching that leg go. Oh, man. Oh, CD release party coming up uh, the 18th of November at Inoteca uh, from 7 to 10. You've got all kinds of... They'll be playing live Shack Nasty Will, and also they'll have the CDs on hand and more information about uh, uh, where you can go to download said album, Destabilizer, which I guess is out now, right? Yes. Yeah, all right. 